With deaths from coronavirus approaching 135,000 in the United States, many states are trying to figure out how to slow the pandemic without slowing their economies. In Florida, Walt Disney World is now back open after four months. But as COVID-19 cases surge in Florida, health experts wonder whether the place where dreams come true can also be truly safe. Chris Pallone reports. Applause and smiles behind masks, of course, greeted the first guests to enter Walt Disney World in four months. The entertainment giant revamped its procedures for life during a global pandemic, limiting the number of people admitted, making them wear masks, taking their temperatures, and strictly enforcing social distancing rules. Reservations for July sold out in moments, as some enthusiasts believe the risk of contracting COVID-19 is worth it. As long as everyone's being safe and following the rules, I think that there's no reason... To, to really worry about it so much. Walt Disney World is reopening as the state of Florida is one of the nation's fastest growing coronavirus hotspots. The state has added more than 10,000 new infections, 95 deaths and more than 400 hospitalizations. All of that just on Friday alone. States across the South and West are fueling the rapid rise in the nation's coronavirus cases. South Carolina reported its first COVID-19 death in a child under five Saturday. It also hit its highest number of new cases and the highest percentage of positive tests. I don't think we've hit, hit that peak at all. And the thing is that from here, we don't have a place to go out. You know, the floors are busy and they're full as well. In Texas, the governor is threatening a new lockdown if people don't follow his mask mandate. We're dealing with community spread. Anybody you come into contact with could have COVID-19. One bright spot, the Navajo Nation. Once one of the hardest hit areas in the U.S., tribal leaders imposed strict rules, including 57-hour weekend lockdowns and widespread testing to bring infections down. And there has been some lessons learned from what we went through here on the Navajo Nation, so it could be a case study. A case study in determination to stop this indiscriminate killer. Over 3 million Americans have tested positive for COVID-19, according to the Centers for Disease Control. 66,000 of those were reported today. Over 40 million tests have been reported. Today, President Donald Trump wore a mask in public for the first time since the coronavirus pandemic hit the United States. The president wore the face covering as he visited service members at the Walter Reed Military Hospital. It's a reversal by President Trump following months of refusing to wear a mask in public, even while visiting facilities that had policies requiring face coverings. And the White House ensured the moment would be captured on camera, positioning reporters at the end of the corridor where he, where he and aides planned to walk. Before arriving at the hospital, the president said it was a great thing to wear a mask at the hospital as some of the service members would have just recently been in surgery. And the Red Hawks look to bounce back tonight against Chicago. Beth is in with highlights next in sports.